Hi, I'm Matt McFarlane. Hi, I'm Destiny. Hi, I'm Sarai. We are your hosts. Welcome to the Eastern Echo Podcast. Look out for us on campus and on social media at Eastern Echo underscore podcast on Instagram and at Echo Podcast on Twitter. Here's Matt with the news. In news this week, students organized for Syria at Eastern Michigan University helps young Syrian refugees follow their dreams. EMU has the highest percentage of African-American engineering students among Michigan universities and EMU's basketball team wins exhibition game over GVSU. Students organized for Syria at EMU, also known as SOS, is a non-religious, apolitical, non-profit organization and club with a goal of aiding Syrian people locally and overseas, as well as educating students on Syrian culture. The organization has a goal of spreading awareness about the humanitarian crisis that is happening in Syria. SOS does that through advocacy, educational campaigns, and fundraising. As the Arab community at EMU is growing continuously, SOS wants to spread more awareness and hold more events. SOS plans to host one philanthropy event, one social event, and one educational event a month. These events are not just for Syrian students. SOS encourages other students at EMU to attend and learn about Syrian culture. To learn more about the organization and stay up to date on upcoming events, follow the club at sos.emu on Instagram. In other campus news, EMU has the highest percentage of African American engineering students among Michigan universities. The, late, the latest publication of, dat, of data from the American Society for Engineering Education identify a game above as the engineering college with the highest percentage of African American students enrolled and graduated in the state of Michigan. The state average for the percentage of African American students at Michigan colleges is 4.6%, while EMU's percentage is 11.4%. Game Above also holds the highest percentage of African American students graduating from a technology or engineering program, reaching 10%, while the state average has dropped to 3.1%. The developments in the College of Engineering includes new majors and programs added, electrical and computer engineering, and product design engineering technology giving students to choose from a lot of options. Lastly, in sports news, Imani Bates made his EMU debut, scoring 27 points at the exhibition game against Grand Valley. Although the actual basketball season at EMU doesn't start until November 7th, the excitement in Ypsilanti has been here for months. On October 28th, EMU took the victory with a final score of 85-69. to the team will play their first official game on November 7th against Wayne State at 7.30 p.m. in the George Gervin Game Above Center. On November 11th, the team will travel to, to Little Caesars Arena in Detroit for a game against the University of Michigan. Today is Election Day. Get out and vote if you can. EMU is encouraging everyone who is eligible to exercise their right to vote. There will be no classes held at EMU due to Election Day to give students and faculty time to get to the polls. Additionally, EMU's Honors College is serving as a new polling location this year for voters in Ypsilanti, Ward 3, Precinct 1. This segment was reported by Layla McMurchy, Zena A., and Cody Almazi, scripted by Mariah Taylor and produced by Jordan Boyd. The Eastern Echo Podcast trivia question for this week is, what was the original name for Eastern Michigan University? DM us on Instagram for a chance to win a prize. I'm Matt. I'm Sarai. I'm Destiny. We are your hosts, and this was the Eastern Echo Podcast. Hi, my name is Layla. I'm the editor-in-chief of the Echo, and I'm interviewing... Pratish Shukate. Uh, I'm a freshman, and uh, I play basketball. I used to play basketball, but... Um, and where are you from? I'm from India. And when did you play basketball? How long have, did you play basketball? I uh, started playing basketball when I was in fourth grade, so you can say around um, eight years now that I've played basketball. Yeah. Um, and do you want to just talk a little bit about your passion for basketball and why you like basketball? Sure, yeah. Uh, so the, the day I started playing basketball was a summer camp in our school, and it was just for extracurricular, extracurricular activity. And my mom and dad was like, yeah, just go ahead and just jump in, see if you like it. Um, I did it for a, a week, and then the coach was just like, you were tall enough for your age group to play basketball. Mm-hmm. So I just uh, I just listened to him, and now here I am. Uh, I was a part of NBA Academy India, which is, uh, which is an academy mm-hmm. uh, funded and everything by NBA. 
Uh, they have it in seven different locations of all over uh, the world. And I've also represented India and my state multiple times. Okay, awesome. And um, do you still play basketball? Uh, unfortunately, last summer I tore my ACL, so I'm still in the rehab okay. phase. But yeah, okay, cool. I, I see myself playing basketball in, in the future. That's good. Um, and what is your major? Oh, I, I major in sports management. Uh, and what would be like? What would you want to do with that in the future? So now, like, I f- first thing I came here was because I because basketball is kind of a American game, so um, I wanted to get the exposure over here and like come play for Eastern. Mm-hmm. But because of the injury, okay. I had to jump on the Plan B. So my Plan B was just uh, you know, sports management is a vast. Um, subject you can have sports media PR uh, multiple things so mm-hmm. but that's all that's what I'm trying to figure out right now but two 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 things that I see here which are like giving exposure which with this podcast as well is uh, media like mm-hmm. sports media and also content creation and and like PR for uh, any sports teams or anything like that okay definitely and um you're going to start a sports podcast for the Echo, so you want to talk about your ideas for that? Oh, definitely. Uh, this is my first year also doing this at Fort Eastern. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I'm, very, I'm very excited because I'm a basketball guy, and, and Imani Bates will and obviously is a spotlight for mm-hmm. e- Eastern. They're focusing on how they play, uh, talk about what they can do good or how they are doing good. And also here to support the women's basketball team because it's it's good to see uh, a college having both teams. Mm-hmm. You don't see a lot of uh, a spotlight given to both genders playing the same sport. Yeah. So we're excited for that. And also football season is about to end, but it's it's still it's still uh, we're going to talk about that too. And other sports like um, marathons. Um, swimming diving uh then we had um tennis we have ten- we have we have a good tennis team too mm-hmm. so yeah a lot of sports coverage okay awesome um and so you kind of talked about it a little bit but why did you come to EMU oh so <clears throat> EMU basically i uh i saw potential of me playing here mm-hmm. first thing and also because I, I mean, not not that I like Michigan mm-hmm. because Michigan has a bipolar weather, but uh, it's just the international students over here. They they have good amount of international students, and they had also I was looking for sports management major, which I it was available over here. So that's how that's why I I was I was kind of not only relying on my plan A, which is basketball, mm-hmm. but also that yeah, there is sports management over here. So. My plan B is also secured. So, and it's a good environment over here. Mm-hmm. So, how has your freshman year been going at EMU so far? Oh, the freshman year was nice. It was it was it was pretty good. Um, networking wise, it was pretty good. Uh, basketball also was nice, but mostly it's the networking because mm-hmm. me being an international student and I wanna uh, jump into like good things that I can do and get me exposure so networking was the best uh for a freshman yeah definitely uh and what other passions do you have besides basketball and sports anything or is that your main thing uh besides basketball passion wise uh i would say i would say just related to basketball so i like watching okay. and like watching and also like analyzing mm-hmm. the statistics and everything is is a fun thing for me i know it's a nerdy thing but <laughs> it 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 involves like basketball and how you can bet how, how you can make a make a team or someone better through stats mm-hmm. so that's my like i don't like math but it's just it's when when it comes to stats and everything and basketball mixture it just uh it's it's fun yeah. it's fun do you want to talk about the basketball podcast you had before all oh yeah uh, so i had a basketball basketball podcast named a coco on air you can find it on YouTube and Spotify. Um, so basically, it was it 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 is a, a podcast where I talk talk to 
players or athletes who have played basketball who and who are also playing basketball so um i've 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 um interviewed a uh, olympian who played for india and that was the only olympics team that went for olympics mm-hmm. basket in in basketball then i had um my other peer who was from um nba academy africa okay. i talked to him about his life in africa and the culture over there so it's basically just about the athletes and um their journey mm-hmm. and how how they are doing and what they went through okay um and then kind of just going in a different direction from sports what would you say is different about the culture here than in india oh that um i would say independent like like people are very independent mm-hmm. and they like over here people try to do it everything by themselves yeah which is good that's what a lot of people said that when i talked to them like for those other articles right so like people people are not dependent on someone because they know like they have to do it their own pace and uh i mean it's yeah that i think that's the most stand out ones yeah. obviously there's a culture difference and uh like religion and everything but yeah. but yeah mostly it's the independence okay um and is there anything else you'd want to add just about your life or your life at EMU or anything life at em so what i would add is there are, there are great people over here to talk to and um uh, you know network to network with and um i i hope that the sports podcast gets a lot of fire like like a lot of views mm-hmm. and everything and the podcast the eastern echo podcast is doing a great job in sending messages and interacting with the campus life and also students yes thank you so much listen to the sports podcast coming out Sorry. this week